Now types of motion, they are very, very important from the point of view of NSO and in all NSO exam expect question on this. The very first kind of motion that we are discussing is very simple. It is when a person or thing is moving in a straight line that is known as linear or a rectilinear motion in the person or thing is moving in a straight line. Best example is a, a person running on a straight track now, that is a linear motion. Circular motion is what the hands of this clock or the ends of the, 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 the hands of the clock actually exhibit. Rotational motion is when the ball actually rotates. Periodic motion is a motion which actually repeats after a fixed interval of time. So this is the, these are more examples of periodic motion. All celestial, most of the celestial bodies, their motion is actually periodic because it repeats after a fixed amount of time. Pendulum is the best example. It is motion is periodic. It repeats after certain amount of time. When you are rotating a stone, uh, after tying it with a thread, you are rotating it uh, like this, uh, uh, around with the help of your hand, when you are rotating it like this, this becomes a periodic motion. In the beginning and in the end, it is not periodic because when it's gaining speed or when you are slowing it down to bring the stone down, uh, then it's not periodic, then it is aperiodic because in, in, the, in those cases, the uh, motion is not repeating after a fixed interval of time. So then it becomes aperiodic in the beginning and in the end. But after, uh, after a few rotations have happened, this motion actually becomes a uh, periodic. Now the motion of a car or a machine moving at constant speed is periodic. When the machine is slowing down or when it's uh, picking up, when the car is slowing down or when it's accelerating, then the motion is actually aperiodic. It's not periodic. Okay. But when the car is moving with a constant speed, then all its parts exhibit periodic motion, which means that the motion would repeat after a fixed interval of time. Okay, so these are the examples of periodic motion. Now, these are the examples of circular and periodic. So, both these are circular as well as periodic motions. So, the thing about circular motion, the thing to remember is that the body is going round and round about an axis. Okay, so this is the axis around which this particular stone is turning and this axis in the case of circular motion lies outside the object right so that stone is exhibiting circular motion okay and the axis of this motion is lying outside the stone and that is why we call it circular motion in the case of rotational motion we'll just see in a second the axis actually lies inside the body okay and we'll see that in a second now here is an example of a satellite going around the earth where is the axis of rotation what is the line around which this this uh, this uh, going around is happening right the satellite is going around which line that particular line is lying here it is on the earth it is inside the earth it is passing through the earth and around this line this satellite is going round and round and that is why again the satellite is exhibiting circular motion now here are the examples of rotational motion now i'll, I'll show you those examples look at this wheel the line around which this wheel is actually rotating is here at the center of the wheel and that line passes through the wheel itself and therefore it is known as rotational motion it is not circular motion similarly the line around which the top is rotating passes through the top itself and therefore it is rotational motion same case with this soccer ball soccer ball the ball is rotating around a line right so this is the direction of rotation it is rotating around a line which passes through the ball itself okay the object itself and therefore again it is rotational motion there this is periodic rotational motion all of these this and this are a periodic rotational motion ice skater example is also a periodic because ice skater will slowly be slowing down now ferris wheel is also an example it is an example of periodic because the ferris wheel it rotates at a constant speed okay so this is the example of periodic rotational motion again here the line passes through the ferris wheel itself in the case of ice skater the line around which it is rotating passes through the man itself and all of these are therefore examples of rotational. So the difference between rotational and circular, in the case of circular, the rotation happens around a line which is passing, not passing through the body that is, right? in that case, it is circular motion. In the case of the rotational motion, I am going around a line which is passing through me and this is the example of rotational motion. In the case of circular motion, I am going around the line 
I'm going around the line which is not passing through me and that is an example of circular motion okay so distinguish clearly distinguish between circular and rotational motion right so these are the examples again look at the examples this is an example of rotational motion this is an example of circular motion notice the line around which the things are going round and round and if the line if that particular line known as axis axis if the axis lies in the object itself then it is rotational motion if the li axis lies outside the object axis of motion lies outside the object then it is an example of circular motion right so this is also circular motion so things hopefully are very very clear now here we we'll look at the example of linear motion this piston is exhibiting linear motion linear periodic motion and this crankshaft is actually used right this crankshaft is actually used to convert that particular linear motion to rotational motion okay rotational motion again and again i am telling telling you that the wheels exhibit rotational uh, motion of course this is the summary of this entire uh, class types of motion they can be random random means that they can go anywhere here there we are not okay and on the other side we have oscillatory or periodic motion which repeat tick 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 pendulum oscillatory or periodic motion okay then in the middle we have translation motion translational motion translational motion means the position of the body actually changes right it is changing so i am undergoing what translational motion now the translation motion they it can be rectilinear in which the body is moving in a straight line or it can be circular in which the body is going round and round around an axis which lies outside the body its position is actually changing or it could be curvilinear which is a combination of both rectilinear or linear and circular so this is a combination of both now on the other hand we have rotational motion rotational motion is when the axis right i am rotating this this uh, particular uh, remote control okay the axis of this motion of this motion lies inside the remote control axis is outside outside the remote control this was circular this was circular it was translational whereas if the axis is lying inside the body itself then it is rotational okay so very very important and oscillatory motion is one which goes to and fro go to and fro it is a periodic motion okay so this was a summary now let us solve a problem of course now with all of this what we have studied do head over to doorsteptutor.com and definitely solve problems on the motion okay so it will be in the kinematic section very very important for your nso exam head over to doorsteptutor.com and several problems will be asked from this particular section and here is an example of such problem now we which we have been given the instances a particular example and asked what kind of motion does that particular example uh, carry so wheels of a car which is moving at constant speed they undergo linear rotational as well as periodic motion see as it is moving in a uh, in a constant speed definitely it is the motion is periodic because it's a constant speed motion okay the the the, the same point on the wheel will come back to the same place again uh, in the same amount of time that is why it is periodic it is linear 100% it is linear because the wheel is going in a in a straight line it is moving along with the car in a straight line and it is moving rotational also because the wheel is going round and round round and round round and round and it is undergoing rotational also so so periodic it is there because this rotation is actually periodic okay so therefore this statement becomes true now we have been asked a hockey player running after a ball during a match undergoes linear and periodic motion notice that there is an and here okay so the hockey player who is running after the ball so because it is running after a ball the ball would go in a straight line only the all ball cannot go like this okay and it is say it is it, it just by looking at the question we can understand that the ball would go in a straight line it is not being touched by other person so if you if the ball just left to itself will of course go in a straight line so the hockey player will also go in a straight line and therefore it is definitely undergoing linear motion but it is not periodic okay because the hockey player might be increasing his speed it will decrease his speed all of those things would happen during the process so this statement is wrong because there is an and here okay the pendulum of a clock undergoes periodic and oscillatory see oscillatory means to and fro this is oscillatory to and fro motion and of course it is periodic because it repeats after certain amount of time okay a fixed amount of time so this is correct okay so with this 
questions are very very simple if you have practiced enough of such problems you will see the same pattern being repeated in the actual exam and you will be able to easily score thank you so much